This is Ian Fountain here out in the uh, expo area, and I'm here with my FlowServe pump. And the demonstration that we're going to show you today is all about having the FlowServe pump alert maintenance teams to when components are going to fail and which components are going to fail. And as you probably know, these are two critical pieces of information if you're operating assets. So the way that the system works is, first of all, we've instrumented this pump with a lot of different sensors like pressure, temperature, vibration, flow, and power measurements. And all of those measurements are being made by our National Instruments Compact Rio data acquisition system here. Now, thanks to the collaboration between National Instruments and OSI Soft, we can send this data in real time from our Insight CM software or our LabVIEW software directly to the Pi system for real-time data tracking, which is what we're showing here on this screen. Now, if you're going to develop an application like this and put some, some smarts on top of it, you're going to need some analytics capability, and that's what we've turned to our partner PTC ThingWorks, which is an IoT platform that enables you to integrate uh, business value as well as business logic. And so this is the, the dashboard that we're showing here from PTC. And in this dashboard, you can see that the analytics are running. Uh, it's already learned what the normal operating state for this pump is. And so that's why all of our indicators are green. But as I want to actually induce some failure, for example, I can tighten down this valve and actually cause the pump to be in a, a, a state called cavitation, which is dangerous for larger pumps. And by cranking down on this valve, you'll see bubbles start to appear in the inlet line. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. And then in a moment here, what we'll see is that some of these uh, indicators start to show red, which means it's detecting the failure, and it's predicting that in about five days, three to five days, unless a technician addresses this issue somehow, we're going to have an impeller failure in this pump. And that'd be a big problem. Uh, but with this information, we can go out and make some changes, like, for example, remove the restriction from the line. Now. Picking one type of failure up is pretty easy. Uh, what happens when we throw a different type at it? Can it distinguish between the two? And so what we've done is we've actually, uh, we've got a lever here that when I pull this lever, it's going to cause a shaft misalignment. So the motor will no longer be in perfect alignment with the pump. And I don't know if you can hear that in there, Enrique. Oh, we can, we can hear you it can pretty hear. well. Okay, good. So obviously if you were standing next to this pump, you would know something was wrong, but it's a little bit ineffective to have people standing next to all of your assets. You might want to stand away from that, Ian. <laughs> you can't hear me anywhere, okay. Um, so again, we can see that we're going to have a bearing failure in two days. Let me go ahead and turn it off because it sounds like it's a little, a little too much for you guys. So here what we've shown is that the pump is able to distinguish between two different types of failures. And uh, actually, the pump's pretty smart, and it sent me an email saying that, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's telling me that it's going to have an impeller failure here in a couple of days which is nice to get an email, but what if we could take it one step further and use technology to help a technician actually, in the field, understand what's going on? And so again, uh, by leveraging the platform from PTC with ThingWorks uh, and Vuforia, we're able to uh, actually augment real-time data on top of the pump. So you can Ooh, see all those same statistics that we're seeing on our dashboard. A technician who had like a an iPad or something in the field could see that. And then if you wanted to take it one step further and actually see, okay, how can I you know, maybe take apart this pump, we can actually overlay the CAD data on top of that and do an exploded view of what's happening inside the pump so he could understand how to take it apart and service the impeller and get him back on his way uh, and your, your process back up and running. So with that, uh, back to you, Enrique. Thank you, Ian. That's fantastic. Awesome.